Hello and welcome back to Space Engineers. My name is Rabenschild. We have our drone here and it still works. I took it out for a more runs to see uh, if I can land it. A bit of training and it, it still works remarkably well and I could use it for its given task. So uh, to scout out the way for this big rig. That's why we are kind of sitting at a slope here because I need magnesium and I'm drilling for magnesium here. That's a bit of a problem that we have to find a solution for that I'm not sure yet how to do that. Um, positioning this thing is hard. So for one we could build an external drill resource gathering apparatus. Something like the mole that I have back at the base that is able to to drill and it is small small enough to bring it back to the big rig and empty it out or we strengthen the drill that we have with um, maybe some drill and fill systems to be able to get a bigger circumference of uh, of resource gathering in the area so that I can drill and then grab the stuff that's around kind of too instead of just grabbing the grabbing the bit of stuff that I that I gather while drilling um, making the drill bigger with pistons or something like that I'm ugh, I'm hesitant to do that I still don't want to drill crazy big crazy big boreholes here so I wanted to also have a smaller drone that I can use for close scouting missions and I have come up with this thing really easy thing uh, kind of resembles one of the the normal small drones that fly around uh, that people are making nice uh, videos with uh, two cameras a, a lot of thrusters that I really really don't need but to keep it to keep it in line with all the drones that we really have this thing flies and for close scouting missions that definitely is enough it uh, flies for 20 25 minutes um, but it needs a bit of more work and testing to see how if we can strengthen the whole thing. Um, maybe I can bring all the the necessary stuff like uh, like the the gyros, the antenna, all that stuff more to the outside and uh, move the move the thrusters more to the outside so that we get space in the middle for a bigger battery because a bigger battery would be nice to have here the small ones i i kind of worked around this and found out how many batteries uh, one of the big ones would replace and it would be better to have a big battery here so maybe we come up with a second version of this modify this thing and then uh, we we give it another shot with it um, that's one thing I definitely need to do then I added a few more weapons around and you can see that I uh, got this landing strip here because I figured out that landing the plane kind of on this diagonal I'm always too close to the main tower so I wanted to have a straight landing approach that that makes stuff a bit easier I'm still working on details and all that stuff by the way the, the straight thing I, I watched stuff about <laughs> I watched stuff about um, real aircraft carriers where they definitely figured this whole thing with diagonals and straight lines out to to um, 
the, the landing approach is a bit sloped on real aircraft carriers to keep the, the aircraft coming in away from the starting ramp in front and or the, the catapults in front and uh, that's, that's why that's the case. But the problem with this is if I want to have the plating, I'm running into the problem that the, the slope is just too steep here and um, ugh, figuring out the whole thing with giving the slope a bit more of a shallow approach, something like this here, ugh, that's a lot of mm, doing diagonals that might look weird. So I, I went, because we don't have a catapult, we can go for a straight landing approach and uh, maybe get the the landing area straighter ahead so that we <sighs> that we can yeah land the drones on a bit more straight approach here i've done more to this system but i don't have um containers right now i will have to build them and uh, yeah build them here and set them up uh, I need to then get one of the carriers that I made for the container so that I can place them down. Otherwise, what else did I do? I'm again, I'm, I'm working a lot on details on the whole thing, um, bringing in railings, bringing in stairs so that I that I could walk through the whole thing. I'm. Uh, working on the hangar area to make it maybe look a bit nicer uh, not have complete flat surfaces uh, I'm figuring out some details for the front making other <laughs> making changes all around this thing this is something way too big again but I, I really like working on this here for example I'm bringing in a ceiling I'm hiding some of the some of the stuff that I have for the cargo containers here and 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 and, and. but the first stuff I want to do is put in work on the drill put in work on the small drone the rest is just uh, stuff that needs to be done anyways uh, and then we kind of figure out what we do about the the drilling situation. I think I could go with two things because one thing uh, this thing is not able to to really pinpoint are the rocks that are lying around and I kind of want to be able to grab these two. So first we turn on the drill and bring that into position so that we can drill again too and we start the drill we see what this thing is drilling out now and then we decide if we put in drill and fill systems or something like that to make the whole thing the, the whole drill area a bit wider and maybe just grab the underground ores that we want that would be neat uh, we need to set up a place for the wheeled scout drones where we can build them and then we also need a way to start the process of building more of the smaller drones that I want to carry around here the I don't know did I already no yeah okay I already have this set up here. Okay, good. I can turn this off again, please. Because I really don't want to build another one right now. Would you turn this off, please? Okay, that, that is already set up. I thought I didn't do that but it it's done already so that's good we can produce these I'm oh I've added thrusters to the whole thing 
these are just uh, a package of thrusters that on the outside again i did that with the other uh with the other land cruiser that it kind of looks like air intakes or something like that bringing in uh, cooling air from the outside or whatever or cooling atmosphere one i downloaded new mods that i'm using and for this i'm going a bit cheaty i'm i've downloaded a mod that gives me the option to up the multiplier the thrust multiplier for the thrusters uh, it's done by um, yeah lucas or meridius and you can set this thrust multiplier that also ups the the amount of energy or fuel the thrusters need so it's a bit cheaty because you basically set up one thruster and then just say yeah i want it to be 10 times stronger and it it gives you the option to not have your builds ruined by the amount of thrusters you need but you basically go in and say okay i just need one thruster to do what 10 thrusters normally would do but you still use the same amount of energy or the the same amount of fuel so at least you are not i i could have put in the uh, uh, gravitic manipulators and these things would have just ripped <laughs> nearly ripped this whole platform apart and just said okay i i will bring you wherever you want to be but with the normal thrusters i at least i at least have put in normal thrusters that just i can crank up without yeah losing the uh, or with without cheating in the the power with basically no energy used or something like that so um the scoutron by the way proved the wheel scoutron proved valuable as well because i kind of figured out a way uh for the carrier then moved it into where i wanted it to be without positioning it perfectly and then sent out this thing to scout out the to scout out the 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 ore depots that i that i have in the area and uh that's how it's so how it is supposed to be so i'm scouting around the the area close by to find ore deposits and then say okay i want to maneuver this big thing over to this thing because there's what i need it's it's a, a bit complicated um but i don't have to maneuver this whole thing around to to find the area i want to drill in so the drill is underway that thing i've set up just to to give this this hole in the deck uh, a bit of a nicer look uh, again i'm i'm adding options for power production to if this thing idles i can run it on the solar panels and on the wind turbines if i lock it to the ground uh, that's one thing i still have to do manually because i it wouldn't work if i would put in ooh, does this still work or is it is working hope we are coming no we are uh, we already passed the magnesium and we didn't hit it that that's the that's the 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 problem that <sighs> maneuvering this thing to get it into position for the perfect drilling spot is not really possible um the 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 drill shows where something is but it is just not perfect and that makes the whole process not so nice so what we could do now is bring up the drill again bring in a drill and fill system if i have the space for it 
I might not have the space for it. That's the big issue that I have. And then... We will try to place one somewhere on here and have it work while the whole thing is drilling. We could have two questioners if that still moves then. Let us test that. We will bring up the drill and then do some ugh, some hopping around with Is it moving back up? I set it to reverse. Yeah, it's moving back up. Um, I'm having a bit of issues with the pistons here because if they go out of alignment, um, the longer this whole the whole drill goes down, the more it kind of moves out of alignment because the weight of the whole drill head is just crunching on the on the pistons. It stops moving at one point. That's something. I definitely need to get in check. So maybe up the 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 possibility. So with pistons you can basically set them up to just pull back even if the whole thing just goes a bit wonky. And uh, I might have to do that because the deeper I go, the the crazier it gets. The last drill, for example, I had the problem that the drills wouldn't move too fast because it was just crudged out of the well I don't know how to describe this so we wait until the drills come up so let us modify the small drone uh, we will rip out the the batteries we will rip out some of the middle parts there and then try to move everything into a bit bit of a better position what i like about this model that i have here is that it is really relatively small I, I'm, I'm sure i can make it smaller but i kind of want to keep it flat and not too too high <laughs> so th this this profile i kind of want to keep going um let us add some blocks on the sides so that we that we can pull, yeah move the positions of the thrusters more to the outside um, gives it a bit of a bigger footprint but I think that is okay so this and then move this in then I can hope I hope that I have enough stability then to be able to cut out the thrusters in the middle there and move them more to the outside G thrusters I went with the sci-fi thrusters The big ones are not necessary here, so let us go this route. Please pick that up. Build and repair system. Um, we could talk about the mods I've added. I have added this thruster override. Uh, that is again, it is helpful and maybe. I want to use it specifically here, but maybe we can do something with nicer ships with less thrusters. I, I'm I'm not sure. I'm I'm not sure what what route I want to really go there. But I like the idea of being able to to make ships that don't need all the the thrusts in the world uh, to move um, so we well, well I will think about what what I want to do more with the thrust override uh, you can see that I have downloaded uh, colored the colored icons 
I get into the problem now. <laughs> that that might show my age and the age of the series in itself. I'm getting into problems to see the differences in the icons of everything. Um, I'm... It's, yeah, my eyes. I, I can't tell you. It's it's just... I, I, I now am able to identify stuff a little bit better with having, having a bit of color on there and having a bit of color on... Uh, on stuff in con containers as well. Let us take a let us take a look at, at that stuff. You can see there's the little bit more difference in what what is what and uh, what is in the container. So to identify that stuff a bit more, I could I would like to have it even more colorful. I have to admit. To 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 see the differences even better. I'm I'm seeing what is out there when it comes to colorful icons. I just this is just the normal colorful icons, but there seems to be others, and I might go for even crazier colors on there. <laughs> um, ah, uh, it's it's a weird thing. Um, I've also downloaded. I've got rid of some stuff and I've downloaded the this airlock connector, the new one that is this big one here um, for maybe ships. So this is basically a connector that you can go through. It still works like a connector, but you can go through. You could put in doors or something like that. So make make airlocks. One problem that exists with this thing is, you can see that I right now can't fly through it. Um, place a few blocks around and suddenly you, you can go through it. So, uh, seems to be a bug that is in the mod and uh, the solution for now was to place a few blocks around it. But again, this works like a connector with, even with, with cargo exchange and the ability to go through it, have rotary airlocks on both sides. I haven't figured it out in space right now, so it could be that this is inherently airtight. Uh, some of the connectors, um, there was a connector passage mod that also had stuff like that, and that thing was just airtight, like the the these Star Wars hangar fields, kind of. Um, but I, I have to test how that works. Um, again, I will I will take uh, a better look on this to maybe have bigger ships with that because, for example, the Duchessa for that ship, that thing is just too big. But we'll see. Good thrusters moved, antennas now. Um, let us move everything out of the middle and go for a bit of a side attachment so I don't need the thrusters anymore antenna uh, I could by the way go with a plane antenna but I want to at least when it comes to the blocks use more use more vanilla stuff uh, to yeah, keep it easy and simple for don't know maybe when people want to build that stuff too. I'm 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 not the monster builder where people just want to want to rebuild my stuff or so. Um I could go with a with a non vanilla with a non vanilla ore detector here, but it's not necessary okay we go with the gyro with the gyro here and we will put it on the outside here and remove the one in the middle and then we go for batteries let us see what does 
is there a small there is a small warfare battery so we could use them or go with the with a normal one can i admit that i like the normal one better i think the it is this one it it kind of looks nicer let us go and put some blocks around it to keep it kind of attached to the whole thing and then hmm, do we keep the other batteries on there having more power on this would definitely be interesting you can see that I've connected it with a, instead of with a connector or anything connected it with a with a rotor that's a bit dangerous because uh, stuff constantly flips around while this thing while this thing is driving uh, for example these that is constantly flipping up um, but on the other hand a rotor is kind of a neater because you you get the so, uh, a relatively solid connection it's relatively easy to attach and I had nothing explode by now so I'm I'm willing to go with rotors uh, on on this thing. Uh, so, if if you have an opinion on that, if I could go now with now that it is bigger, I could also put in a, a, one of the connectors and go with that. But the the rotors make kind of sense, and uh, hmm. I don't want to have landing gears on here. I could go with magnetic plates. Landing gear is just too... too chunky. The, the thing is that... I don't know of a good way to... recharge this thing. The connector would be an idea, sure. This thing is smaller, the footprint is smaller, and it also gives the option to recharge through the rotor. If I could find another way of recharging this, um, I could put in something like, I, I have, for example, the, let me see if I, our, I have the remote power converter, so I could put in a system that transmits power over we we have that for example on 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 dune with the with the i have a wind farm that is basically the main power for the base there and that is remotely set up somewhere and this thing transmits power to that station and i could do that here too put uh, an antenna so a small power transmitter onto the ship and then transmit it to the drone and recharge it but the question is then it also gives the whole thing power while it flies we could test it but the thing is we need reactor components we need superconductors we need all that crazy stuff and that doesn't keep the drone cheap i want to keep the drone kind of cheap and buildable oh, buildable with the standard components and this especially the superconductors are and reactor components are not components that you really want to throw into this give me an opinion on that I could do that have that thing powered 
while it is we, we could limit the range the, the range is relatively limited on this system we could limit the range and have it basically work just in the vicinity of the whole thing and then if it needs to go out then it kind of has to rely on its batteries but on the other hand hmm, we could also use we could also use laser antennas that's also possible because we we i have power transmission over laser antennas that would work too but i'm now let us let us stay away from that small batteries total available 63 megawatts but that's the whole thing um i want to just see the the battery how long does it take to charge nine minutes we can maybe make a test flight with this and see how how much further it goes we might have to re remove the batteries to keep the weight down uh to to not have it add a lot of weight to the whole thing by um by the batteries the more weight we we have on that thing the 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 less time <laughs> Le yeah when it comes to putting more weight on that thing we get less time of flight time and we might have to get rid of the batteries to counter that we might end up with not a lot of extra power We're, we will see we will see we will see okay let us see what where the drills at energy yeah yeah oh. come on uh I don't, I could just sit down in the chair there, but this thing is here too. Uh, let me see. Good. Let me make a short break until the whole drone is loaded and maybe, yeah, let us just do the small thing and talk about this thing. I will try to add, uh, uh, we can't add a drill and fill system here without issues because this is in the way mm. the problem is the drill and fill is three blocks long and having it three blocks long uh, you can see that is too much Putting it here gives us the problem that we have this thing in the way. Uh, can we extend the rotor? No, we can't. So that's not an option. We, we might have to position this thing a lot better if we have that thing here so we need to if we put it on top we might have to always bring it into this position and then lock it down um so six uh Put that on there i want to see if it still rotates and then we could mark this thing up top uh, put a, a red light on there or something to be able to see in what position it is okay it still turns that's good Yeah, the procedure and with this it is dangerous we could always damage the whole thing here uh, i will make a test set that up uh, run it down the hole and then we um we see how we do that we will see how we do that good give me a few and uh, i will be back with hopefully uh, results here so the drone is charged up that makes makes things easier then and 
I have added a camera on top of the drill system so that we can see the the red dot that is sitting there and when it is in this position we can stop it and then safely bring the whole thing up it's kind of you I read I need to write a manual for the whole thing to to make this to make this uh, remotely possible so the 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 drill and fill system is is making or is doing what it is supposed to be so it is definitely running and grabbing all the stuff in the area I limit it to just collect the materials that's kind of how I want it I know it's the the easy solution and but the the, the problem is the the limited space that I have here anyways putting in for example a, a piston that would go out and drill into certain areas then I, I, I and there is systems out there scripts for example that can can see ores in in what depth ores are and then stop a, a piston drill there kind of and then maybe move out a piston with drills that that then carve out the the area there <sighs> I could go that route I want to keep this simple here because again this thing is big enough the the I don't want to completely go overboard with with what I'm doing here so this is for now the solution we we can drill normally with it we still can use then the drill system if we really need something we could limit the use here that's that's maybe something we can do but um if we grab the ores with just the drill amazing and that's how i want that i've limited the height of the whole thing so that it is not because Otherwise, I could just turn on the drill system up here, not drill at all. But I limited it to a really narrow or not not too high area where it can drill. So I still need to bring the whole this system down, and then it, it it has to drill when it wants to grab something. Because otherwise, I could just turn it around. Uh, press a button grab everything that's below me uh, and I still want to use the drills here because they, they do a good job the, the area that these twin drills are, are grabbing is big enough for all the ores that, that usually come by but I want to be able to dig out specific stuff that I just can't pinpoint so that's what the drill and fill system is for. Uh, the thing here is I'm getting uh, magnesium. That's what I was on the hunt for because now all the weapons need magnesium. So I want to turn off the rotation, bring that thing up again and we will do a test flight with the drone. So you stop, go a bit more, stop the drilling, turn off the drill and fill system bring that thing up and now we can make the test flight I can lock that in again and now we go up to the bridge and do a bit of test flying I again I'm I still haven't figured out if I want to use the the remote power stuff it would it would give me the opportunity to put in more antennas where where I kind of want to have antennas but on the other hand it is just I don't know I don't know if it's a good idea so okay remote access and then we go for the scout UAV go into the terminal and then we find the remote control drone and control this we detach no 
detach. Oh, what's what is it doing? Ugh, okay, find a camera. Camera front view. Ah, it needs gyros. Two hours. That's that I say that's time well spent and that's uh we could need a bit more thrust. It now is so heavy that we definitely it would be nice. To put some more thrust in. I, I'm not sure. Okay. Front view. That is the down view. Up thrust. There's definitely enough. We can't turn it on its head. That's something it, it can't do. But otherwise we definitely have enough thrust when it comes to stuff like that good flies okay-ish it's a scout drone it doesn't need to be quick completely quick uh, I don't want it to be a racing drone um, this again is supposed to do close close support kind of so that if there's something close by that we want to check out ruins or something like that we we can do this and then uh, use the the drone to fly into something Ooh, I need oh I know what I need haha <laughs> so ugh. yeah too much thrust too much down thrust now uh, 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 yeah it goes it's too speedy when it when we go upwards So, can we... Yes, we can... We can do stuff with it now. Have to be careful when it comes to flying upwards and think about that this thing has a backside. Nice. Good, that works. Uh, that will be the... Oh, I don't see the... Oh, I don't see the... The thing anymore. Hmm. Do I need another camera to make positioning this thing easier? I think that's what I need. Let me grab that and we need another camera on here. And maybe we remove... A few of the batteries. A few of the batteries. Um, I need a camera somewhere in the back. Oh, I have the camera still on. On the HUD. Somewhere here. Weld that up. Okay. Remote access. Uh, control. G. The other camera is. Camera 3 is the docking camera then. That thing needs to be there so that we can see the. That we can see the rotor. Let's see if that thing is able to lock. Eight attached. Thank you. Good. That works out fine. I will think about the thrust issues. We could go with more thrusters, but I'm uh, no, 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 no. We we will find a way if we can add a bit more thrust to the whole thing, or we make it lighter. That that's the thing. I think we will make it lighter by. Removing some of the batteries 
because again, batteries are heavy. 146 uh, thrusters are the real thing here, but we can remove a few hundred kilos by just removing the the small batteries. Uh, and then we maybe don't need to add another gyro because gyros are just heavy too. Yeah, batteries will be gone next time and we will make another test flight. So, people, but I think that's all for today. Um, long enough episode anyways. People here don't like me here rambly, yeah, me rambling on and on, but uh, again, that's the stuff I like about this game, and that's that's what I'm doing here. Good. I say, people, thanks for watching. Hope you liked this episode. If you did, please leave a like on the video, and I hope to see you in the next one. See you guys.